Hello, this is Linda Schrank with Amazing Face Painting by Linda. Um, I am going to do a dragon tattoo tutorial. Um, I've had a lot of requests from these from the Face Paint Forum. And um, these are the paints that I'm going to be using. I have a Wolf Black, a uh, DFX White. Um, this is a custom tag cake. Um, called Fancy Feather from the Face Paint Forum Shop, where I get most of my paints from. And this is a Hot Prisma um, Paradise cake, uh, one of those Prisma cakes. I love these because you can use so many do uh, flowers and flames and so many things with them. And you can get those at the Face Paint Forum Shop as well. I will be painting on my son David today. And I'm just moving my stuff aside so he can bring his arm in here. And make sure you're lined up well. And so what we're going to do is I have a Donna Dewberry 3 fourths inch um, flat brush that I'm going to be using. Depending on the size of the arm, you can go with any, um, with a one inch brush or even a one half inch brush if you have a very small child with a very small arm. This here, um, as you can see, I am going to start off with the um, custom cake and I am loading it up nice and good so hopefully it'll last and let's see. I am going to start right here and for the dragon you start with the nose and I like to make it a little bit bumpy and then I do the eye and then I come out and I do these really wonderful fun spikes and then it is a C shape for the lower jaw and then a lot of times I'll come back and just come under that jaw and give him a little bit of a chin. And then if you do reload, always remember to leave, reload the same direction so you don't muddy up your colors. And I'm going to have you, can you twist your arm or is that, if it's really uncomfortable, I'm sorry, dear. It's okay. And I'm going to come around and I just blend this out like this. And you can use any arty cake for this. Personally, I like to use the greens and the reds, but I've used pinks and purples and it just doesn't matter which. And as you can see, I just do really quick swirl lines there. I did the spike for the tail. Now I'm going to do some uh, spikes along his back. The kids really like it, these spikes when you do them along the back like that. And then I do them on this side too because it just gives it some depth. And I don't know if you can see that, but there you go. Um, going to grab up some of that white and I have a number two American painter brush and I am just I'm loading the brush up and you can relax Dave just sit down and relax this part alrighty and as you can see I'm just trying to get it loaded up and at the very end I give it a nice little twist and that helps give the the tip of your brush there and okay are you ready mm -hmm. okay I'm gonna do the eye and I just sort of press and flick up for the eye and then for the teeth I come back and it's just like a little teardrops almost and I kind of flick 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 if they're not straight that's okay dragons have crooked teeth they don't get to go to the orthodontist so that's fine and when I'm done with that I'm going to go in real quick. I'm going to grab a little bit of the red and I have this half inch flat brush and I'm just going to come here and pick up just a little bit of paint for some flames and just like that. And I didn't get any orange in it because it's a, but the black looks good. And I just go in like that. Um, if you want, at this point, you could just put a slit in the eye and call it a done design if you're in a hurry. Or you can do the next steps that I'm doing. I've loaded up um, some Wolf Black on my number two round. And I'm just going to go like this and do that angry dragon eye. And I'm going to come in like this. And I kind of come around and give them 
all sorts of different little details. They never look the same because I like to use squiggly lines, but you know, that's okay. I like them to look original. And I'm coming around and like that. And then I just put a little jowl on him on the side there. And then on his spikes, I'll come back and do some lines like that. And then this part, I kind of do a, a heavy wiggle and then a flip up for his underbelly scaling. And it's just like that. Coming around and around. Is any of that showing up? Good. And then I just flip like this. And these almost are, I, I call these like tiger stripes across the back. And it's really a heavy flat lay down and then like that. Lay down and then pull up to the tip. And you go, you, you lighten up to that tip of the brush. And then I'm going to do a bunch of those right along here. And hopefully they are showing up in the camera. And I do them like that. And I'll, a lot of times I'll interchange them back and forth. And it gives a really cool look to the tail that the kids like. And a reload on the brush. And then I wiggle out and do the tail. And you see, it, you know, as you see, I'm not a, I don't know if I want to call it a sloppy painter, but I like to, I kind of like to play with the brush a lot and just let it, almost let the brush do the work for me. But we are almost done and I'm coming up here and doing these last little bits where I put I make the that almost spiky and this can be um, I know, um, I'm gonna stop it here because I've noticed that my camera tends to uh, cut out right around now uh, but you can also add white highlighting if you'd like and when I get a little bit faster as a Facebook painter hopefully I'll do be able to do that too and I'm adding some flames in and you know I'm coming in kind of weird over here on a weird angle but yeah Sort of my flames are a little weird because of the weird angle I was painting at. But there you go. You get to see it. And thank you so much for asking. And thank you, Matina, for having the face paint form in the face paint form shop for us. And I hope to see y'all and be able to make more tutorials. God bless y'all. Bye-bye.